Hey, what's up, YouTube? Victor back again. We're celebrating victories, giving y'all another video. Um, and what I'm going to talk about today is how the ATM process works, okay? How you make money um, through an ATM, how people's money comes out of an ATM when they want to take out money, um, how their card information um, gets sent to their bank, and, and, and the whole process on all that. Um, because it's something that's very, very important to understand if you're thinking about opening up an ATM business, if you have an ATM business already, um, or if you're just kind of doing your due diligence and do your research on ATM business, uh, all that stuff is still, still very important <clears throat> for you to understand and know this process, okay? This is a question I get asked all the time, whether it's in through email. I get emails about this. I get comments about this. Even when I like family members, they talk to me about my business. They, they kind of have that same question on how everything works. So I'm going to break it down step by step right now. But before I do that, I want to present y'all an opportunity um, of like just kind of sitting down with me, talking one on one, um, getting any of your questions answered. Um, so I'm going to give you guys an opportunity right now by going down into the description emailing me shoot me an email with your information your first name last name um and what i'm gonna do everybody that sends me an email probably within like probably the first 24 hours i'm going to um just do like a random drawing and i'm gonna pick out one or two people and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk over the phone i'm gonna email you back some other information we can link up maybe like a 10 15 minute call just to kind of help somebody else help more people give you guys more value um so i definitely want to share that with you guys so be be sure to take advantage of that opportunity okay if you haven't done so make sure you subscribe you definitely have to subscribe in order to partake in this all right um be sure to leave a comment if you have questions as well um also hit the notification bell too that way anytime i drop a new video you get notified and you can watch it immediately okay now let's dive right into it so i want you guys to imagine that you walk into a liquor store and you're like hey there's an atm before i go out to the club before i go wherever i'm going let me go grab some extra cash all right the process when you walk up to that atm and you're taking out, let's say we're gonna say $20 for you know training purposes, for the purpose of this video, right? And you're gonna take out $20, so you take your card out your wallet, you put your card into the ATM, and this is assuming this isn't a bank um, ATM, this is just a regular ATM that you find at like barbershops or your small liquor stores or wherever. I'm not talking about a bank owned ATM, I'm talking about an uh, ATM that's owned privately through someone like me or you, or if you're looking to get into this business, potentially you later down the road, right? So you walk up, you put your card in. When you put your card in, what's gonna obviously it's gonna prompt you to put your your um what is it um your pin right? You're gonna put your pin in, and then you're gonna select like withdraw or check balance or whatever it is you're gonna do. In this case, we're gonna do withdraw twenty dollars. Boom. What's gonna happen when you put your card in and you start inserting that information? Your card information is gonna get sent to a processor, and this is gonna be a third party um, third party agency, a third party. Um, association whatever third party business right um it's going to get sent to them and it's going to have your card information it's going to have your name it's going to have your all your information on there and um what's going to happen is when they get that that information they're going to bounce it to your bank wherever your bank comes from um on the card um or wherever your card comes from whatever bank that is that is matched with it's going to the processor is going to kind of send a signal to your bank and say hey you know tommy or whoever michelle michael ricky whoever it is wants to take out twenty dollars from this liquor store okay and what's going to happen when they send that information to the bank the bank's going to kind of approve their credentials and obviously you have to have you know the right credentials be able to take out money whatever i don't know um but they're going to approve your credentials and say yeah tommy has twenty dollars in his account boom you're good to go it's going to get sent to the processor the processor is going to relay back to the atm and say hey atm spit out the twenty dollars he can take his twenty dollars and move on okay so that's going to be how the process works now a few things i want to talk about one i'm going to talk about um you getting paid as a business owner in my case me right getting the surcharge and also what I'm gonna talk about is banks having their own ATM because there's a difference. All right, first let, first, let me talk about the, the processing of, of me getting paid. So when Tommy used that ATM and took out his $20, what ends up happening is Tommy now owes me $3. I'm giving him that $20 that he took out and that $20 is coming from his bank. It gets, it gets transferred from his bank to the processor, to the processor, to me. Um, 
back into my account because it gets recycled, right? Because I'm giving you that twenty dollars. I'm letting you use the twenty dollars in cash in order to give for you to give me three dollars. So again, the twenty dollars that, that's coming out of your account goes to the processor plus the three dollars or two dollars or whatever the surcharge is going to be on that ATM gets sent to the processor as well. The processor is going to send out the twenty dollars back to my account, so that way I could reuse it. And then they're also going to send me. Um, this is where things kind of change up a little bit. They're also going to send me the three dollars that um, you owe me, or two dollars you owe me for the surcharge fee. Okay. Now this is where things kind of change. In my case, what I do is I get that surcharge fee at the end of the month. The, the processing company holds it and they add them all up at the end of the month and at the end of the month they're going to send me a report and it's going to say x amount of money is going straight to the, be deposited into my account okay now what you can do you can do it where you get those you get those surcharge fees every day right like after 24 hours after it happened okay i don't like that too much because it's not as clean you know it's not as smooth it's not as easy as it is to track versus if i just get one lump sum um, every single month on the same day every single month. I know boom getting that I already it's easier to track You know, I don't have to try to like move, you know, try to dig in to find out, you know Which one settlement fund and settlement funds are going to be the money that's recycled um, Into that you use to recycle into the ATM so that people could take it out Right, and that's a whole nother topic I don't want to get off track too much because I'm again This is a very basic video for someone that really doesn't understand the ATM business um and let me say before some people are like, well, you're missing this and missing that. There's a disclaimer. There's a lot of stuff that gets involved into the ATM business. All right. There's a lot more processes, um, systems in place than kind of what I'm telling you, but I'm just giving you a nutshell in a nutshell. The second thing I want to talk about is going to be the banks. All right. If you go to your bank and you go to an ATM inside your bank or right outside your bank, right, or the drive through um, ATM, right, if you go to the, one of those ATMs, usually you don't pay. And the reason why you don't pay is because the banks own that system, the banks own that ATM, and the banks own that processing that goes on. So the reason why um, you don't pay is because they, they have it, all that stuff set up in, in on their own. And they're not going to charge you because they they can use that as a, um, what is it, as a way to attract customers because the way banks make money is through loans having money in the accounts right they have that money accessible when people need a loan or people right there's a whole different process right that's a whole different story but that's how they make money they make money through loans and interest rates and stuff like that so they're going to do whatever it is that's um, appealing to the customer or the consumer um, to get more people in there so one perk is having you know ATMs with no fees right you know that's a perk of, of getting people to come to use their ATMs come open up account with their you know with their bank so they're not gonna charge they're not gonna charge no no um, fee usually okay no surcharge fee now if you're going to a bar or a liquor store or maybe um, a barbershop or a laundromat or you know these high lower end places um a lot of those atms most of those atms are privately owned such as myself or you in this case maybe if you have if you're watching this and you own atms that's that's the people like us right so obviously in order for us to make money and we're not going to just buy atms just to buy them we want to profit off of them so we have the surcharge fee and that's how we make our money ideally okay so i just wanted to kind of break that down as best i can um, I hope that makes sense. I really, really hope it answers a lot of questions. I hope it's clear. Um, if you have questions, like I mentioned, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you haven't done so, be sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget, go into the description box, get my email, shoot me an email with your first name, last name. I'm going to hit you back if you win. Okay, I'm going to put all those names into a little tracker and I'm gonna pick random one person, maybe two people, who knows, um, and give you guys a little free 10 minute call, 15 minute call. So be sure to do that. Hit that notification bell too. That way you're miss you're not missing any videos and get the opportunity to do these things when they do come about. All right. Um, and if you like this video, if it's good content, if it's something that helps you, if it makes sense, be sure to hit the like button as well. And I'll talk to y'all with another video. Hold up, hold up, hold up, real quick before you guys go. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so by hitting this button right here. And if you want to check out some more of my content, be sure to click right here. Talk to y'all later.